This is a review of the GV Tracker Alaska 36 liter side cases. It's similar to the Outback series, but it's a newer generation, so there are small little differences. And the reason why I chose these is because I have the Tracker Outback 42 liter top case and I wanted the same look. And these are also in the bare aluminum for the same reason as the top case. I like better the bare aluminum. It's a lighter color, so it makes your bike more visible in traffic. In other words, safer. The GV Alaska series have a sleeker look compared to the older Outback versions. Because among them, the tie downs, they are kind of molded into the shape of the corner pieces instead of being separate pieces that's riveted onto it. This should also make the cases more waterproof because you have less penetrations. The weight of the cases is about 11 pounds or 5 kilograms each. And the cases are 22 inches long, about 10 inches wide and almost 15 inches tall. And these dimensions are out to out, so that's including everything on the case, rivets or whatever. The inside of the cases is pretty clean and I added a net to the top to make it easier to divide different things. I packed the motorcycle cases the same way I packed my backpack. That I divide the items into little pouches and I have different colors for different items. So say the food is always in the blue pouch etc. Then it makes it very easy to find the different things that you need. As with clothing in this case, where I found that three of the Eagle Creek shoe cube fits perfect in one side case. I did the same uh, water torture test on these side cases as I did on the Outback 42 liter top case. And I came to that the lid is about 7 liters and the box itself, the bottom is about 30. So it's roughly about 37 liters. The side cases are not as waterproof as the top case. The top case there was no water at all trickling out of it. In the bottom case there were like several little small places where water was trickling out but it was very 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 slow. I'm fitting the GV side cases to a Yamaha Tenray 700, so I'm using the GV mono key side racks to mount it to. But I also have the original Yamaha top rack mounted to the bike, and in, in order to get it all to fit, you have to use uh, either a hacksaw or an angle grinder with a thin cutting blade, a file, and a big drill bit, like three quarter inch or 19 millimeter, to get it all to work, and together with some black spray paint. So it'll take you <laughs> a couple of hours to get it all working and it can be a little bit frustrating. You can make it a lot easier especially on this bike by using just a smaller top rack but I like the big uh, Yamaha rack because it very, it's very very sturdy and have very big grab handles on the side and it makes moving the bike around so much easier. Good motorcycle cases is a parallel to good backpacking gear. It's hard to find stuff that's 100% waterproof that you could put in a lake and float on. Uh, I have an old backpack that's like that that I've been using for years and years and when you get to your destination or you're putting up your tent and it's been raining all day and everything is still dry, that's a <laughs> nice benefit. So what I would like, this one has a, like a tiny little driplet of water. It won't be any serious unless you're floating on it or dropping the bike in a river. But what I, in my ideal world, I wish they would make a mix between the Trekker Alaska and the Dolomiti case. Where the whole bottom piece and the whole top piece is just forged out of one piece because then you would minimize seams here 
and here and then you can implement the handle in the front and make a little bit bigger handle in the back and integrate that into the pieces in between the top and the bottom and then they would have one piece of metal that would go all three quarter of the case around and just have another piece in the back and then you would eliminate these two seams in other words the fewer seams you have the fewer chances of leaks you have but all in all i like the case i like the integrated uh, tie down straps it looks pretty cool i like the handle on this side i wish the handle on this side grab handle would be a little bit bigger kind of like this one because if your case is full of heavy gear you have to carry it on both sides also like that when you unlock it from the bike you release a little lever that you have a little catch that holds it so it doesn't fall to the ground that that's great and it also means that you can fill it all the way up and you can still remove the case from the bike you don't have to go inside the case and that's great if it's raining you don't have to open a lid in order to remove the case from the bike so that's a great benefit so all in all all the Givi gear that i've put on the bike they're pretty high quality they're very well made so and they have good instructions. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the GV products. Have a good ride. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, more videos to follow.